Today we're going to be looking at the 2017 MacBook Pro 13 inch base model after one week of owning it. Now before we get into it, my question of the day to you guys is, are there any other benchmarks you want me to test that I haven't done in my previous video? And for starters on this Mac, I don't have many complaints about it. Everybody reviewing last year's model said how you need dongles to survive because you only got two USB-C ports, but I didn't find that to be the case too often. I only needed an adapter for my mouse and my PS4 controller, which I didn't tend to be using at the same time. My LG V20 charges through USB-C and so does the MacBook Pro, and I often found myself being able to charge my phone and the MacBook off of the same charger, and I can just transfer files and videos from my phone to the MacBook all with one cable. Moving on to the speakers. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know that they are loud. And over the past few days, I've listened to a lot of music, discovered a lot of nice songs, and I often preferred the built-in speakers compared to my wireless studio beats. As I said, I've been traveling for a little bit the past couple days, and the small footprint of the MacBook Pro made it easy just to throw my backpack and carry with me, just kind of toss it around the house too. Um, I really appreciated the small footprint that it has. Heading over to the battery. Now for me, it's a personal preference that I like to use my screens on full brightness. Uh, so most of the time I've been using it on full brightness. For a little bit, I'll put it on like 75%, but the majority was on 100% brightness. And I was taking it outside in the hot heat. It's been like 80, 90 degrees here the past couple days. And the battery was surviving. As long as you're not gonna be using it for anything intensive and you know you can be using it for college, and if you adjust the settings accordingly, you could easily get the battery to last you all day. I love the big trackpad. And you might not think about it, but after using it for a little while, you're going to appreciate how big it is. But one thing I don't like about the trackpad and I complained about in my review a couple days after I received the MacBook was I found it not wanting to drag items easily using the trackpad. It works fine with the mouse, but with the trackpad, it just if you're moving something from your desktop into a folder, if you have a couple things grouped, it doesn't work as easily as I would like. Overall, I'm pleased with the performance. It plays games I wasn't expecting it to play, and it feels very snappy and responsive in OS X. There were a lot of 2016 MacBook Pro users complaining about clicky keys, and I experienced the same thing, although only under certain conditions. When I was using my MacBook Pro outside in the hot heat, it was just sitting there baking in the heat, after a few minutes and you started to type, you could hear that the keys were noticeably clickier. Now, if you took the MacBook Pro inside after about a minute or two, the keys went back to being normal keys and weren't so clicky. Just so you guys know, in the upcoming days, I will have another benchmarking video coming out with Cinebench and Final Cut Pro and anything else that I see in the comments. So if there's anything you want me to test or if there's anything you think I left out on this video, please let me know down below and I'll slap chop you on the next one.